Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a quick and simple step-by-step -step method that you can use to do simple metric conversions. I'm going to show you how to convert between kilogram or kilo, which means 1,000, and milli, which means 1,000th. Okay, before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Step-by-Step -step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give me a thumbs up, leave a nice positive comment, and also don't forget to share this video. And also, I've made a bunch of other teaching and learning material which you can find my Teachers Pay Teachers website. The link is in the description below. Whether you're looking for some practice problems, whether you're looking for examples with all the solutions, whether you're looking for online labs, I have produced a bunch of excellent material. Once again, link is in the description below. And of course, I made other videos for metrics, metric system, and metric conversion, those you can link to in the upper right-hand corner of this video. Before we get started with the conversion, let's just go over quickly so that you are aware of some of the simple basic units, the base units in the metric system that you should know, and you should be familiar with the length, the volume, the mass, and time, the base units for each of those. Those are probably the most common ones that you would be working with, and the length has abbreviation L, and it's base unit is the meter, which has the abbreviation M. And then we have the volume, which is a capital V. Its base unit is the liter, which has the capital L for its abbreviation. M is mass, and the mass, the base unit, is the kilogram. And time, T, the base unit, is seconds, which has the abbreviation S, just like that. Okay, so we'll be using those in our examples. And we want to make sure that you are aware of all of the prefixes, the metric prefixes and their abbreviations that you should know. And we're going to start off here, kind of right here in the middle with one. So we have one meter, one liter, one gram, and one second. And then we're going to go up by a factor of 10. Then we have 10, and we have 100, and then we have 1,000. And then we're going to go down to 10th. 200th and also 2000th, just like that. Now we wanna go over what are the metric prefixes for each of those things for 10, 100,000 and 10, 100th and 1,000th. And you should know maybe for 10, it's deca, because we have decade. That's the most common you know, derivation of that. It's not really a metric unit in that case, but deca and the abbreviation is DA. Now the next one, for 100 is not very common, but it's hecto, and the abbreviation is an H. Now, the one for 1,000, you should be aware of already. It's kilo. Kilo means 1,000, like kilogram is 1,000 grams, and the abbreviation for kilo is a K. Okay, now we're going to go down 10th, 100th, and 1,000th. The metric prefix for deci, for excuse me, for 10th is deci, and that has the abbreviation D for 100th, or 100th is centi, and that has the abbreviation C. You should be familiar with that one. And then, of course, thousandth is milli, which has the abbreviation M. Okay, you should be aware of all those kilo, hecto, deca, and has K, H, and D, A. And then deci for tenth, centi for hundredth, and milli for thousandth, and that's D, C, and M, just like that. Okay, now we're going to start with some basic, uh, you know, uh, conversions for the metrics. Now, when we do that, I'm going to make this little chart, and I think it's good idea if you write this down. You have one that's right in the middle. We have one meter, liter, gram, uh, gram and second, and then we're going to go up by 10, and we have 10 is deca with the abbreviation DA. Then we have hecto, which is a 100 abbreviation H. And then we have kilo, which is 1,000, abbreviation K. And then we're going to go off here to the right. Deci is a tenth. Centi is a hundredth. And milli is a thousandth. And those have the abbreviation D, C, and M. Okay, we're going to kind of use this as a chart that we're going to use for doing our metric conversions because we're going to do the first one right now. That's 250 grams. And we're going to convert that into kilograms. Okay, so you can see we're starting with grams, and we want to go to kilogram. Now, right here in the middle is grams, and we want to go all the way over here to the left in kilograms. We're going to have to take three steps. We have to go through deca, so to speak, and hecto, and then we're at kilo, and we went three places to the left, and that means we have to move the decimal 
three places to the left on our gram value here that we're converting from. Now, where is the decimal? Now, normally when we write 250, we might not actually write the decimal, but where is the decimal point? The decimal point is right there behind the number. And we said we're going to move that to go to kilo three places to the left, three steps to the left, because we went from here this way to the left three steps. And so we're going to go one, two, three, and that means the decimal is now going to be moved three places, and that is simply 0 0.250 kilograms. Okay? Now, normally when you do these, it is a good idea to write this out, but you probably wouldn't want to write out all of this stuff. Maybe you just write out one, and then you got to remember that 10 is DA, uh, 100 is hecto, which H, and then kilo for 1,000 is K, and then you go down this way with the D, C, and then for deci, centi, and milli. So on your paper, if you're working out some of these problems, you might just write it down just like that. You put like a 1 in the middle, then you have D, A, H, and K for 10 hundred thousand, then D, C, and M for 10 hundred and thousand. And you can see right here, now we have centimeters. Okay, you're going to be using... The prefix is the first letter centi, and we want to go to milli, so we're going to go here. We're not starting here in the middle. We have centi, and we want to go to milli over here. So that is just one step to the right. That means we're going to move our decimal one place to the right. So we're going to go one place to the right, and we're going to move the decimal place right like that. Now, you can just write down 39. You don't have to write down 39.0. Just usually write down 39 like that. Okay, the next one. In example number three, and we're going to go from milliliters to liters. Now, milli is over here, all the way here on the right, and we want to go to liters. Now, we're going to go three steps, one, two, and three, to get back there to one, to liter. And we made three steps to the left, and therefore, we're going to go from there with point at the end, the decimal point at the end of our number there. And we go one, two, three, and now we have the decimal there, and we have zero 0.729 liters, okay? You should remember milli means 1,000. We have 729. We started off with 729. That's less than a liter. So you can see we only have a fraction of a liter right here, less than one liter, okay? All right, the next one, we're going to convert kilometers to meters. So we are going to Start here at kilometers. Now, kilometers is going to be over here at kilo, kilometers, right here. And we're going to go back to meters. So now we're going to go three steps to the right, just like that. And we would move that decimal place. Now, you'll notice it kind of looks like we only have two places here. So I'm going to bring this number down here. And you're going to go three steps to the right, which is one, two, and three. Now, we have an empty space right here. We kind of ran out of numbers. And we always fill those empty spaces with a zero. So now we have our decimal place all the way over here, and we just write down 2,390, okay? Just like that. Now, number five, I think we have seven or eight to go all together, maybe seven. And the next one, we're going to go from milliliters to deciliters, okay? Remember, D is deci, not DA for deca. This is deciliters. So we're going to go from milliliters to deci. So we're going to start over here, and we're going to go two steps to the left, just like that. And now, once again, our decimal is right here at the after the 285, and we're going to go two steps to the left, one, two. You just count. Just take your pencil or your finger or your pen and go one, two, and you, now you have two places like that, and that's 2.85 deciliters. Okay, there you go. And we're going to have another one is we're going to convert. Okay, now we have decigrams. Okay, 48 decigrams, and we're going to go over to kilograms. So we're going to start here. We're going to go all the way over here, which is four steps. One, two, three, four, just like that. The decimal place is back here, okay, for 48. And then we're going to go four steps. One, two, three, four. And we're going to move the decimal to the front there. And you can see now we have two empty places. And we're going to fill those with zeros just like that. And then we're going to write down 0.0048 eight kilograms like that okay i think we have one more here and this is number seven and we're going to go from milliseconds to seconds okay this is milliseconds and we have four thousand four hundred and ninety five milliseconds and we're going to go one two three just like that one, two, three, and there we are with our milliseconds to seconds, and we're going to move the decimal place 
from right here to over here because we're going to go here one two three and that is going to be just like that and we have our decimal place here and that's 4495 seconds okay so there you go we did a bunch of different uh examples there we introduced the metric system and the base units we went over the metric prefixes and their abbreviations and we did seven different examples that cover most of the cases please remember write out this chart on your table count however many it happens to be one two three and then you go to the left one two three like that okay go through that step by step okay hope you found that video helpful if you did please do all of the following five things subscribe to my channel get all my excellent physics chemistry and math videos click the notifications bell so you don't miss anything give me a thumbs up leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below and don't forget sharing is caring share the video with all your friends show them just how much you care thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video.